sat over there and God just put it upon my mind, you know. I've never shared this with anybody. I saw my pastor and my husband. Those are the two people who are, who are aware of this. A lot of times you see people sitting near you, but they are depressed to death. Then one day you hear the person ended it all. And you were like, this person is always in church. They look happy. Everything seems fine. I was a suicidal mess years ago and nobody even knew. But my husband was the one God sent to me to see it. Everybody, they are used to, Anna is quiet, Anna is quiet. But they don't know what was going through my mind. I was born in church, right? I'm a church girl, I'm a deeper liver. But I wanted to hand it all. But for God. My body this morning is for the youth. What they see on social media, they say, oh, this person is beautiful, damn it. This one is better. They always believe somebody is better than them. It's always greener on the other side. But you don't know what they've sold. They've sold. Some people have sold their souls to the devil to be where, even though you think they are in church or they are gospel people, but they've sold their soul to the devil to be where you see them. But you don't know. Because all you see is bling, bling, bling. That was me 16 years ago. Wanting to end it all. It was just because of things happening in the home. Sickness here and there, attacks here and there. But God saved me. Somebody can be near you, you don't know. Toby knows. That's my, my baby sister. <laughs> I'm very intentional about quiet people. Those ones who don't talk in church, those are the ones I deliberately get close to. Because people think they got it together. But you don't know what they are thinking. This morning, I want us to pray. Tell God to open your eyes to see. The person can be near you, you don't know. God, open my eyes to see. That person I need to reach out to. Sometimes I'll just sit down. God will just put a name. We'll just drop a name and I'll just call. I've learned to just call. Just call. Because you, when you now call, you're not like, and I was thinking this, oh my God. So what if I didn't call? What if I said the person is busy? Tell God, open my eyes. Like we said, no youth around me will end it all. I don't know if it's somebody here or somebody online. I don't know. But whoever it is for, God, nobody around me will end their life to depression. We see this in, in this, this account in 1 Kings 19. When Jezebel told Elijah, Elijah she was going to kill him. What did Elijah do after he just won a big miracle? See, this guy was suicidal already. God, my life is not better. I want to die. That was a man of God. We'll talk about somebody who is not strong. Who is not that strong. You think they are strong. They are not all. You just think they are. Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Let me see. Around me. Around me. Around me. That boy, that girl, that man, that woman. Who might be thinking of ending it all. Who might be depressed with everything going on. Enough. What's happening in this world is enough to get a lot of people depressed, right? God, open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. That heart I need to touch. That soul I need to reach out to. Be it in our parishes. In in our workplaces, in our homes, even in our families, you don't know. Since we cannot read the hearts of man, Lord, open my eyes, open my ears, oh God. Help me to obey you. Help me to obey you. And when you lead me, and when you lead me, help me to reach out to those souls. Now I'm so tired, 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 I'
access to them, but God knows what's happening right this second, right this minute, whoever it is, wherever they are, whoever is planning to end it all today, 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 right now, God, you see, you see, where we don't see, you see, you see to Africa, you see to Asia, any part of the world, Lord, right now, that depressed soul, Lord, we cast the pressure out, we cast it out, we say they hear your voice, they hear your voice, they hear your voice right now, they hear your your voice right now in that basement wherever they are they hear your voice right now in africa they hear your voice we cast the pressure out we kick it out of the door we kick the pressure out we kick suicide out Father, we lose that mother from every 
Oh my God, let them desire you. Oh my God, let them see you. Let them see. We know this true freedom is only in you. Only in you. Let them come to the knowledge of your truth, oh God. Let them come to the knowledge of your word. That you are the only one who cares about them. Oh God, you are always there. You're always there. You never change, you never fail, you never lie, you remain the same, you never change, you never fail, you never
I want to do it that word. No. God will never lie to you. No, he has never failed. No, he has never changed. He was the same God yesterday. And he's the same God today. And you'll be same God tomorrow. What has he said to you? He will bring it apart. What has he said to you?
testimony and I believe God yes you can clap for her I believe God brought you because that wasn't even part of the prayer we were supposed to pray today and God was intentional about that and he brought a vessel to deliver it with passion with zeal with burden for it you know when you are carrying a burden you will know for something but when it doesn't concern you, you're like, mm. but when it's, it is you carrying it, ah, you will carry it and you will be able to deliver and bring birth to what God has called you to do. I thank God and I bless God for your life, my sister. And I believe the zeal of the Lord in you will push you further to even bring and salvage so many out of depression and suicidal in the name of Jesus.